everyone. Scrappy Kathy here with a Freeze Friday uh, update and um, a layout share. And I left, the, had the opening shot of my table. This is kind of kind of gives you an idea of what my um, dining room table looks like during Calvin Ball season. I'm going to move it a little bit over here to the left. That is a um, my Ikea stand that has all of the uh, how to kill a kit with style elements that I've um, pulled together. It's a combination of Vicki Booten, um, Paige Evans, um, Truly Grateful, the tail ends of, of um, Vicki Booten's uh, uh, Wildflower and Honey and a whole lot of embellishments from previous collections. Uh, like color kaleidoscope and all the good things and then these boxes here contain my um, elements that I happen to have a lot of like this one contains stars etc and so the things that are like things that I have enough of that I store them in a separate box are labeled there so I've got um, let's see, bugs and bees, houses. I don't need bugs and bees for Calvin Ball right now, but I put a B on every layout about my grandson Barrett, because we call him B, and I put a ladybug on every layout about Katie, because we call her Katie Bug. And then I've got arrows, hearts, clips, butterflies, stars, uh, photo corners, animals, and in animals from the animals I've pulled out. And I have in this little bucket all of the hedgehogs and uh, stuff I might need. Anything that's kind of specialty that I know is on the Calvin Ball rules, I'll kind of put in here. I've die cut some flamingos in different colors. I've got them in there. I have a punch that I punch. Uh, crowns. I've got a couple perspective houses and some geometric pattern paper that I've made circles out of. I get two points for that, one point for the circle, one for the geometric pattern. Um, let's see, what else is there? Uh, over here to the right, that's a, uh, uh, a stand with, it's got the Vicky Booten stamps and stencils, which I were really part of that uh, kit over there, but it's also got, um, uh, you can see a Paige Evans Truly Grateful sheet of um, uh, toadstool paper, and toadstools are on the list, so I've got that paper ready for fussy cutting. There's some matte paper, and I uh, die cut um, flamingos and circles and other things that we need I, that so I can get double points for example. So that's kind of, and, and then there's a whole slew of bags of things and embellishments I've pulled from other collections that have ice cream cones or ducks or uh, whatever. Labels, that's uh, is something that's a pretty colorful label because labels are on the the list. So now we'll look at the layouts I've created. And I'm going to go backwards here because I really didn't want to reorder them. Um, and all of this uh, is where I'm drawing from. I'm not planning to buy anything. I, I did yesterday order. I have about, I don't know, maybe $30 left on a $50 um, gift card for scrapbook.com. And I ordered a die that makes uh, foliage. Um, and and I, I did it yesterday and last night or this morning, I woke up to the fact that that's a new rule in Calvin Ball. So yay me. But I really like the kind of arching foliage that, uh, that has been in, particularly in Paige Evans collections. And in Vicki Booten, there's a stamp that I plan to use and then fussy cut the foliage out. So this is one of the, um, the latest layouts. My washi tape is, is kind of coming up here. Let me get this up higher so that you can see. Let me turn on another light so that kind of helps. 
Um, but you, I'll, I'll kind of go through, I'm not going to tick off everything on the list, but we needed a frame, a rainbow, circle, puffy sticker, a list, a crown, a uh, doily, ice cream, this is a, um, a, an acrylic piece, um, map, and this is a city map from um, uh, Chamel's Go Now Go collection. Uh, stencil and white pen, and I did the um, uh, honeycomb stencil from Vicki Booten. Uh, enamel dots, a toadstool, a house, wood veneer, a uh, star, and gold foil. Um, geometric pattern paper, so I'm figuring this with the triangles on it, and this with the zigzags probably qualify for that. And they were some branding strips I had left. Uh, multicolor title, so I have Life is a Highway, song lyrics, um, the word I, the word or a picture or an embellishment that has a baby. So I said, oh baby, it's hard to believe how many curves there have been in Ava's path. So you know, kind of keeping with the Life is a Highway and New Roads and Wander theme. So that's one. This one um, was for, let's see, was this for any particular challenge. I think it was just Calvin Ball. So that's a Calvin Ball only layout that I did yesterday. This one is um, one that I did for Mixed Media Frenzy on Friday. And uh, the rules that were active then are, you know, fewer than uh, um, there were before. But I've got wood grain and and doilies and a uh, map here and some ice cream here, a uh, stencil of a Viewmaster, and I used white pen, and it's kind of picked up some of the color underneath, and it's got it, it's made it pink, and I've got a flamingo that I cut out of vellum. Here's a bit of a frame, and it's wood grain, so you can kind of see there's stars that I needed. Um, I think that's about it on that one. This one um, it is using my, this would, let's see, this is primarily my stash and the previous one is from the uh, How to Kill a Kit with Style kit. There are things from How to Kill a Kit with Style in here, that wood grain frame and this little set of stickers and, and those little houses, but other than that, that's from my um, Prima Flower Stash. And this is from my Mind the Scrap, uh, or no, 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 this is actually all Secret Not Secret kit. These are uh, Cocoa Vanilla Midnight, and this is a sheet from a wonderful pad um, that I won from Moira at uh, Mercy Tierra's last inspiration YouTube hop. And uh, it's, uh, it's from the uh, Again and Again collection by Pink Paisley. And I've got, this is from a Moonchild paper pad that I got from Christina in a kit, either a kit or a um, grab bag type box. And I, I thought these themes, these arrows were needed. I've got a B here for Baby Barrett, and there's a um, um, Ladybug for Katie Bug, who's holding ba Baby Barrett here, and Baby Ava here. So that's when this is one. Um, this is the one using the Mind the Scrap uh, current kit, the March kit, and I've added this... Um, uh, acrylic uh, ice cream cone. This is a, a loose uh, piece of ephemera that I happen to lay my hands on. Um, this is the wood grain paper from the kit and I die cut. I used a, a Tim Holtz die to cut a little house out of it. Um, I used some um, some uh, mixed media material there to make a multicolor title. I've got my, so you kind of get the idea of how I, I kind of fit in um, Calvin Ball rules. This is one from, I think, early in the month, the third, so there weren't too many rules, but I do have my 
gold foil crown and I have some stars and uh, a stencil there and a date stamp and some white pen writing Katie's name in the blank left by the date stamp. This is another one from my, my Minus Scrap Kit with a few bits of stash thrown in. I added this little house, um, I think, and I added that wood uh, star and of course I die or uh, punched the uh, gold frames some old washi tape with uh, with glasses and since this is a page about uh, Ava needing sunglasses they're there this is one again from early days on the third um, I've got the ice cream the crown the word baby um, and an arrow and some uh, some kind of scrunched up doily there, a frame, a house. We've got things there. This is um, Barrett, and I do not have a B on here because I hadn't pulled that box out, but I am going to, while we, um, we are talking, I'm going to go ahead and add the B. Um, these are some really horrible quality photos that um, were taken with a many generations ago phone, whatever um, silly flip phone was available in 2004 when he was born. I think I'm going to put it maybe right here. Okay, so that's a... Uh, I've got frames, doily, star, um, white writing, stencil. Uh, you can kind of see some of the rules there. Arrows. Um, there's houses. Okay. And this one was from early days, too. This is the actual first day uh, rules. And I've got the white pen, a butterfly a frame, an arrow that's held on by this clip. Uh, there's another arrow. Uh, not quite sure why all these things are here. Sometimes they're just there because I thought they were pretty and would look nice on the page. This is one uh, from the uh, Paige Evans um, Bloom Street collection. And it was for uh, an F, uh, for the love of pretty paper challenge number five in a little uh, mini um, cyber crop that they held last weekend. This is the uh, for the love of pretty paper surprise challenge, and this was the list of all the things. So I was doing Calvin Ball and the for the love of pretty paper. So this is all the. Th Things that are there. This explains by the sticker, scrap, sequence, scallop, sapphire, chip, clips, cork, crosses, charcoal, etc., etc. So there's lots of that stuff on there. And this one required that's whatever number five, the challenge number five was, and it included purple. It was the letter P. So you can see the white letters that I have around here and, and some things. So that's combining a couple challenges. This is a layout that I did for, for the love of pretty paper, I think. It's double page. I haven't, don't have the labels on it. And, and I kind of did it as a, um, uh, it, it's to Calvin Ball Rules, the first day Calvin Ball Rules, and I did it for, uh, for the love of pretty paper. It was a, a double page layout, um, and each page, each, the rules that I used would have counted on each page, but as it turned out, arrows weren't active on the day that I did this, and so, but the rub-ons, I needed rub-ons for something. I forget what challenge that was. I'm going to have to go back and, and label that, so I'm going to put it off to the side. And then this was my very first um, Calvin Ball layout. You can see the doily and um, the white uh, title, the uh, white gel pen there, some hearts. 
an arrow, a star, some gold foil on that arrow. So those are my Calvin Ball 12 by 12 layouts. I've also done um, this. Uh, this is finishing a project. When I put these in my Traveler's Notebook, and for those of you who know me, you know I don't do much in Traveler's Notebooks, but last summer I got on a on a tear where, okay, I've got pictures of a Father's Day outing that we we took. And then th th this is an example. This is also, uh, this is from Ava's fifth grade graduation ceremony. And she had put her little hat on to hide her, the hair that was falling out from chemo. And then later in the day, right from the ceremony, we took her to the hospital. And this is a picture of her lying there. And you can kind of see the little patches of hair that were beginning to fall out. And and this was in May, and she had been diagnosed in April. So it was all still new to her and to all of us. So I did this page, and, and it's, you know, kind of sparsely embellished. I intended to go back and do more with it. Well, I will now, I, and I will probably add something over here. So this will be a project that I'm going back to finish. This one was very sparsely decorated and so I added the wood grain and the ice cream and the the um, um, flamingo I'm kind of looking to see that there's a house and a shamrock and a doily and there's some uh, there was already some um, uh, geometric pattern paper I added a strip of washi I added enamel dots and a star and uh, there were already stars, so I didn't need that one. There's a gold foil crown, a puffy um, rainbow, a toadstool, a uh, wood veneer. This is uh, the song title. This little round um, planner sticker already said, Be Happy, so I added Don't Worry, so that's my song title. And this is the one that I've just done today. This one hasn't been... Um, put out anywhere, nor has this other one. Uh, so these are all the ones that have been scored and that are out there. These two I will add, and then I'll tally up my total score, post it on the leaderboard in Calvin Ball, and then move on from there. So these are the last two that will be included in that. For this one, I actually absolutely fell in love with this layout done by Julie Taylor. Uh, who is on the design team for uh, Bramble Fox. And these are some close-ups of it. And it's a cute little dog picture. And she's used, these were in the, uh, these um, light bulbs and the, um, what else? And this uh, frame that says favorite were in the February, I believe, or March, um, Fox box, and, and these must have been in there, but I think I already used them. So I loved her color scheme, but I, of course, ha had to go with more colors. Just really, kind of honestly, to fit in all the Calvin Ball stuff, um, because some things are in certain colors, so I just kind of went, went wild with it. I'll go over the Traveler's Notebook later. So what I did was this. And I took one of the Vicki Booten pre-made um, mixed media backgrounds in blue. I added some, I knew these were, I was gonna use these, and I knew these were more aqua. So I added some aqua streaks across there, kind of making an L. And then I did a lot of doodling with uh, black pen, and um, I stamped some things and I used some clear stickers out of my uh, How to Kill a Kit with Style kit. I, I My Vicki Booten stamps did these circles and, um, and also this toadstool. But I've got in here, I, I added this morning, um, I kind of started working, I had this about halfway done last night and I put the photo cluster in and, and added a bunch of stuff this morning. I did the hedgehog and the duck and the foliage kind of over here underneath the um, paper. I have a strip of washi tape there, another strip here. Um, there's my house. It's also a perspective from a different 
kit. I've got a, a hot air balloon here on uh, up in the air above the house. I've got a little butterfly there. I also had a butterfly here. I forgot when I did the photo cluster, I put a butterfly there and I didn't think I had one, so I put one there. Um, there's a geometric pattern paper back up under there. Um, some arrows all over the place. Um, lots of ink splatters. There's another arrow there. There's a half of, a, I have a puffy sticker, rainbow and clouds, and I actually cut it in two so that I can use both. So you'll see one there. Mulberry paper is a rule that showed up today. The, I wasn't able to attend, but the girls got together last night at a live crop for a couple hours, and they come up with the craziest rules there. So mulberry paper, and I'm thinking this from the Truly Grateful Collection kind of qualifies as mulberry. Um, uh, stitching is required, and if you know me, you know I hate stitching. I don't do stitching. I have, um, I take blood thinners, and so I can't, uh, I don't like hand stitching. And it, my sewing machine, it's kind of hard to fit it on the table, and I haven't used it in a while, so I, I doubt I even know how to thread it, and it's probably running out. So I, I need to do better on that. My word, um, my song lyrics are, I'm looking through you because look at those eyes. I mean, it's all about those eyes, this, these, these pictures. And I use the frame here. In the original, she has her doggy here, and she has one of the little um, Tim Holtz stamped uh, crazy dogs. And I have that stamp, but I, I wanted, one of the requirements is to have more than one photo and to have a black and white photo. So I got both of those points here. And this is in the frame and there's an arrow there. There are arrows everywhere. And I did some doodling and some writing in my white gel pen. Um, there are hearts all over the place. Here, that we have a new requirement. We had a requirement early on for ice cream. So I put this on the photo cluster last night. Today we have a, a requirement for clips. And that's actually, that ice cream is a paper clip. So that ice cream, <laughs> to be honest, that orange, yellow, and pink ice cream cone was the first non blue thing that I put on here other than these pink that was going to have only the blue and the blues and greens and just these little pink um, mats on the photos and then I put that there and I thought okay well I can have this green arrow in there and I can use this green happy place and I can do a multicolor title there so I went wild and I think this has all the po well it has 48 points. What I didn't get was um, com complete and unfinished layout or project or first layout in the Calvin Ball Gallery. Obviously, this is not that. And um, so this pretty much has all the points that I could possibly get on the this um, Traveler's Notebook one, this has all the rules. <laughs> you can probably see them there. This, there's the duck and the toadstool and the hot air balloon, and there's a little rainbow back there in a the house and a hedgehog here and a crown and so forth. And I did some fake stitching here because I really didn't want to kind of punch through. I already have another kind of undecorated page done there. Um, I've started putting things. I put a toadstool and did a, a multi-color title and I have a, a flamingo there, but that one's not finished. So I'll, I'll finish that one either later today or tomorrow. And um, so this was finishing an unfinished project and it has all the rules. The wood veneer is, is this paper clip is wood veneer. So I get credit for both paper clip and wood veneer and probably also for gold foiling, but I have gold foil on the crowns. So that's kind of how I'm doing with Calvin Ball so far. Also how I'm doing with the uh, spending freeze is, um, I, I think the set of dies that I ordered was $19. Um, 
I saw it a couple weeks ago and it was on sale for fourteen fifty. So I hate that I didn't get it then, but I'll I'll get those and I will probably use those um, sprigs. I guess they're the the set is called. It's a waffle flower set. I'll use those sprigs probably on every layout. I'll um, die cut them out of scraps from the collection that I'm using. So that's gonna gonna be that's gonna be a lot of fun when that comes in. Okay, so that's it. Um, <laughs> it's been a, a great week. I've managed to get a lot done on. Calvin Ball, but also um, we've had contractors in the house and and uh, um, been running back and forth to Home Depot buying tile and grout and and um, uh, all kinds of of things for the the um, the handyman's doing that work and cooked a few million meals and and. Um, I'm, I'm trying to convince myself here that, that I'm not totally a thousand percent um, involved in Calvin Ball. So are you believing me? I doubt it. So let me put this. When I have lifted someone, I like to put the original. I think I'm going to attach that to a different way. Anyway, I'll go do this off camera. I'll see you next week. Um, if you haven't signed up for Calvin Ball, it's not too late. Most of the points that you can can gather, the points build, the rules build. The, day one, we had six rules. Um, day two, 12, you know, sometimes there might be two or three, or sometimes there might be 10. I think last night they added 10 um, uh, uh, in each category. Some of the points are permanent, some of them are temporary. And the ones that are permanent are the things that I put on my desk. The temporary ones I kind of uh, stuff in here. And um, I guess what I'm going to say is that up to now, the um, the point the layouts have been low point, even if you use every rule that was there. But as the points build, you can get really high point layouts, uh, especially. In fact, I'm going to say that as of today, which is the 7th, um, we have more rules than we usually have had in, in midway. So we're about a week ahead. And if you get in there now, you can really do some high point layouts. You can see that, that I try, normally my layouts are fairly busy. And so adding Calvin Ball points doesn't, bother me from a standpoint of busyness. Any any layout about this particular dog needs to be busy because she's busy and she's noisy and she's uh, destructive and, and all kinds of things. So it doesn't bother me that there's a flamingo and a hedgehog and a duck that have no relevance to the story of this dog. I'm sh I think think she might have a stuffed duck that she likes to tear up, uh, a little toy. I'm sure if you gave her a flamingo, she'd tear that up too. And so it, it, it really doesn't, this does not bother me at all. Uh, every once in a while to, to recover from, from this, I have to do a minimalist layout, but that Calvin Ball's not the time to go minimalist, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you that. I have heard, you know, seen a lot of exchanges and people say things like, um, I'm gonna try to get as many points as possible, but I'm not gonna ruin a layout just to add points. And a lot of people find um, kind of random things like hedgehogs and, and, and flamingos to be, um, eh, they they don't like them. They they are, you know, they look for legitimate uses for them, and they try to you know fit them into the story. And that's wonderful. And I've done that. I have lots of pictures of flamingos. We tend to vacation in tropical type places, but for for something like this, that's obviously a fun layout. If I were doing Oh, I don't know. I may actually. Well, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be scrapping my granddaughter's 
prom. She's going to prom tonight. Her mom's coming in from Kentucky to to help her with her makeup and hair. She's already done her very light spray tan and she's got, she bought her dress for I think $7.50 at a thrift shop. And um, she's, it's, she's a senior and she, I guess she went to prom with a girlfriend last year and, and didn't stay. So this time she's going with her boyfriend and she's really going all out. She's so excited, it's just, um, wonderful to see her like that. So I'm sure there'll be some really beautiful pictures. There will also be some fun kind of snapshots that capture the chaos of getting ready for this. And I'm sure those would be great for a Calvin Ball type layout, whereas the really beautiful portrait types of, of her and her boyfriend together and and all, you know, after all of the chaos is done, those I might go a little bit more minimal on. So we'll see. And I may do, uh, I have been known to do both or either. <laughs> so anyway, uh, have a good weekend and um, I'll see you next week. And hopefully I won't be any poorer than I am today. I, I'm happy very happy. I, I think I, I'll still have $11 that I can spend on my gift card, and I still haven't found a date stamp that goes that, that goes any earlier than 2010, but Sharon Barrickman is actually checking some old office supplies to see. And when you think about it, I guess office stamps um, are meant to say, you know, receive this today, so it's not something you're going to go back, but when you scrapbook, you're usually scrapbooking things, or, or many times you're scrapbooking uh, old photos. So anyway, I'm going to stop talking and let you go back to scrapping, and I'll go back to scrapping too. Bye. Thanks for watching.